Hey everybody, we're back playing more Overwatch 2. We wrapped up Diablo 4, and God, man, it, I'm gonna be doing. I was gonna do like a review of it today, but like I just, you know, I, I was. I, was, I fell asleep because it was so cold out and I'm sitting there waiting on a bus like freaking forever even though like you know I left work early uh today I got home I you know you know got warm cozy I just bundled up and then I'm just like dozed right off uh, I woke up a little while ago uh and I was like okay you know I want to I don't feel like you know hopping on to like doing like a full-on review i'll wait till tomorrow to do that um but uh i just want to hop in to play some overwatch and uh, just thinking to myself you know because i wanted to at some point uh uh do like a like a fighting game night I want it because I got like a uh, uh, Street Fighter and like, uh, well, it's too bad multiverses is not like, uh, uh, I don't know when that even is even coming back, but uh, I got like a Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, and it's like, okay, uh, but it's like no like Tekken's gonna be coming out soon and I'll do like just like a three fighting game special kind of thing just like the big three in terms of fighting games like Tekken Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter back to back and I may throw in a Guilty Gear but uh I don't know it's just something like I really like wanted to do at some point And of course, I'm gonna get uh, Tekken 8 on uh, PS5 because uh, I might as well, you know, have all the three biggest like you know fighting games of history on the same platform. So that way, I don't have to go switch back and forth between consoles. But I don't know when I'm going to uh, make a day for that. But it's something I really want to do. Man, these pre-orders kind of, it's kind of lame. Uh, I was checking for like the pre-orders for um, FF7 Rebirth and uh, Tekken 8, and you get like a bangle if, if you play out the du deluxe edition for FF7 Rebirth. You get like a you know, uh, Midgard Bangle, which is all right. And then you get like a Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, uh, baseball cap. And I'm like, dang, it's like, it's the last good pre order that I remember getting was the. Now I'm gonna switch up some characters. I'm not gonna, uh, go right into, uh, uh, Ma uh, Mauga. I'm trying to get back to playing other characters a bit. But I'm sitting there like, man, like God of War Ragnarok has like the had the dopest pre order where you actually get a, a Mjolnir thing for your pre order. It's like, you know, make it worth somebody's while. I think the last time I saw like a worthwhile pre order, but unfortunately I couldn't afford all that stuff, was uh. Uh, Horizon table. Zero Dawn, I think the first one at that time, uh, had like a big, you know, Five, mechanical four, elephant three, statue or something like that. Two, I don't know. What? But Round it's like, one. man, Peter is kind of lame now. It, you, you making, uh, especially with the inflation nowadays, like you, like with all this stuff going on, why would you, like, not. Oh, shoot. Oh. 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 Oh.
what is this guy doing? He's not. She's good. Ah. <laughs> they really have it out for me. Surrender to my will. What's the guy doing? He's not like actually they healing nobody. Now. Somebody called my Yeah, it's like with the cost of games like being insane right now, you really gotta make people it worth people's while in order to put in like seventy dollars worth. Especially, I was watching like your video games, you know, years ago when they're talking about this, where it's like. Uh, in a past Stay few years, I think probably since not, not even, even like during like the uh, yeah. pandemic, but the pandemic kind of heightened the revelation of it. But I think like 2018, 2019, we you know certain people on the in in the know starting to peep that a bit, and it wasn't until like you know 2020 or after 2020 when the rest was starting to peep that a little bit. Where it's like, yo.
otra vez. Apagando las luces. I've got you in my sights. Yeah, I was like, we, uh, we were spending all this money. We started to know it's like, okay, you charging us like over seventy dollars worth of half finished games is what I was getting at. And it's like, okay, you're not even making this worth our while for the standard stuff. Because the certain things like you know. Uh, yeah, like uh, Forrest Spoken is a good example. Didn't feel polished. And there's, you know, some other examples that, that just came on top of my head. This game just feels like unfinished. Of, uh, not to a insane degree, there are like, you know, uh, cases where like, yeah, this stuff feels, you know, complete. Feeling 
much better. I helped out in a larger part. I thought so. Yeah, I was just like, okay. I was like, what? It's like, if you're gonna charge, inflation is already bad enough. And most of y'all game companies are putting out like, uh, you know not i just say for you know to, to be a little generous not polished games for the most part and on top of all that it's like if you want us to pre-order the games uh you gotta make it worth our freaking while and it's like even like i love spider-man 2 game from Insomniac but the first game in the Miles Morales game you actually get it, it, at the very least extra skill points on top of new you know like you know at the ready uh, uh, exclusive costumes but uh, I mean, you kind of got that but as the first game you get d you know you already know like the dlcs is coming up it may not be like at the ready right at launch but you knew there was eventually coming out kind of like with like certain fighting games you knew like you know uh like you know street fighter you know when akuma is about to come out or, or even like the batman telltale games you know when like the next you know episodes coming out and it's like okay you gotta you know uh give us a reason you want to get it i mean sure it's like certain things like final fantasy 7 like you know people's gonna buy that thing regardless spider-man 2 people's gonna buy that regardless so you already had that guarantee but you got to also you know you know give the the people who not in the know or not like super final fantasy fans or know the got reverence for it the franchise incentive to want to check it out and it's like you know you know like you get this exclusive you know i think that the first final fantasy 7 remake you get some kind of like bike like some kind of model bike that cloud rides in a segment or something like that i don't know i can't remember but it's like okay give us something these games are expensive as it already is it's like i want a reason uh to pre-order it i mean sure like the god of war ragnarok you know it was like a 200 dollars purchase for that you know uh because I wanted that hammer. You know. Um, phrasing? Uh, but you also get all these little other, you know, you know, these, you know, these like dice and other uh, Norse, you know, trinkets that come along with it. It's all cool. But it's like, I wanted a reason. Oh. Am I gonna come in? It's like give a man a reason to uh or give a person a reason to uh come out of pocket for your game 
and don't just rely on like a certain ip of a game either it's just like with like people gotta pick and choose when to get certain games or even go to a freaking movie nowadays because crap is expensive i was like i want a reason sure i love final fantasy 7 sure i love spider-man game sure people love super mario but give us a reason to uh fork over you know 70 plus dollars and not something lame as a baseball cap or a or even a Tekken ace case a little uh jen kazama and uh uh, Ka Ka uh kazuya's little uh glove fist bump little thing and it's like no like i'm going we're going to need more than just that but, like don't you're being kind of cheap in my opinion my god you're namco and square enix you can do something for us even with like god or uh, uh valhalla it's just like they put out a free dlc which was called surprise how rare is that for a game company each mission, my to like uh put out something free like that and be you know not crazy expensive but I got, lot, I got a lot out of it and it's like you gotta give us something I have arrived. Hello there. I wonder if I got like the uh
I dare you. Cry no. some more. There's much for you to do. A taste of poison.
Check something here. Yeah, I was wondering, did I get the hazmat? Let me try this one out. Yeah, it's like, all I'm saying is just like, man, uh, I was like, I'm looking at like, man, because. Earlier today at work, it's like, man, what are the pre-orders of uh, uh, the games? The games I want to get this year, like, you know, I'm pretty sure the pre-order is gonna be like crazy, because I haven't really paid attention re recently. But I'm looking at like, whoa, 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 only a freaking keychain for Tekken Eight? What kind of janky crap is that? Like at the very least, give us some freaking skins. Like, at least Street Fighter gave us like get some awesome looking skins for these characters. Tekken Eight is not even doing that. I'm pretty sure they're showing up down the line. But come on, you had like how many years working on this? You knew exactly since at least a couple of years after Tekken Seven came out, you knew we're gonna, we're gonna be working on Eight. You, like I'm not sure. I'm not going to claim to know what the ins and out of these game companies and how they their procedures are but you would at least have like a plan in place like oh are we going to do like a specific dlc let's have something at the ready at least maybe not at launch but at least have something a few months down the line for our uh for our consumers because there are you know because we support and don't <laughs> You have like the support of a community like you built up over time since like the 80s or the 90s You should not Take that for granted like or just solely rely. Oh, oh they're gonna buy our crap anyway So why put in the effort for a DLC don't and in my opinion don't treat your consumers like lemmings Okay, that's why I like, you know, I forgot the game company for uh, God of War but uh they didn't have to put in the game was already you know stellar in the first place but when you like i remember to this day like this whole big you know the rollout for it it's like oh you know they have like you know special videos of like what you get in these exclusive dlcs pre-order stuff you get the ham the, this immune hammer that actually has some weight to it it's not like a real hammer but it actually got like a, a weight inside so you can feel like something you can legit swing and momentum and stuff like that but you get all these little trinkets and and the steel bug and all this stuff yada 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 it's going on and on and on about what you get that's why you know you like oh my god it gives you incentive you want to get this on top of the game the game was already going to be good, but you get all this other stuff, and it was polished. So, like, and, and then with the Summon Experiment, the first game, they kept rolling out all these costumes two years after the game was already done, and it's like, you didn't really have to do that. But because they love the game so much, and they appreciate the customers so much, and they love this IP so much, and it's like, no, we want and to you know start rolling out these costumes uh that you guys could just roam around with why not and it's like yes show your customers that like you freaking care that is that sure like we all want to make money but you also gotta you know you know not only put pouring your blood sweat and tears into the game show that you got reverence for it as much as the consumer do and it's like make it worth because if you're gonna if you're gonna charge and I'm seeing amount of money uh, charge your customers and see amount of money for this game give us a freaking reason I 
going with a healer. I'll find my own path. More to do, more to learn. Hello there. You're making a chicken out of a feather. Stay in sight, and I'll keep you safe. Hard work pays off. Five, four, three, two, one. Round one. Capture the objective. What's up? Take every obstacle as an opportunity to learn. <laughs> you should try my meatball. Try my meatball. Use that. Time to let off some steam. <laughs> you should try my meat. Yummy. <laughs> Let's go. I've got a few new inventions to try. <laughs> say, say, push your limits. limits. This up? Nothing breaks that I cannot mend. You're making a chicken out of a feather. Arigato. Oh.
get back to it. Mercy on call. I'm with you. Like mending the shadow. Everybody. What exactly do you think I am? Is someone who carries band-aids? Huh, guess not. somebody. light.
I thought I was gonna go to the point where uh to get this uh, uh Zenyatta thing. Uh but I guess not. False advertising. Uh but uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow when I do my review of Diablo 4, my thoughts on that, general thoughts. Um, I don't know if I have a review up for this Thursday. I'm trying because I'm pretty close to finishing up season one of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. I mean, not Zexel, uh, Arc 5. So I'll try to get that out as soon as I can. Definitely going to be in the end of the week. And then uh, my man, it's a lot dealing with um, uh, my next comic book review of uh, X Men: Age of Apocalypse. So there's so much like uh, going through like it, that's still going to take a, a bit of time. I'm trying to go through as as much as I can. Cause I'm trying to skip over certain tie-ins that I want to say don't necessarily matter, but I want to try to stick with like the core story. Uh, because I'm looking through all like this, I guess, essentially like an omnibus kind of thing online. So, uh, not gonna exactly be on time on a Thursday, maybe not, but I'm definitely gonna try to get it done by the end of the week so I can give you guys my thoughts and my review of X Men Age of Ultra, yeah, Age of Ultra, uh, Age of Apocalypse. Because next we're gonna have like a, uh, uh, a few movies I wanted to review too, but um, what else? Um, but I think like the next comic book review after uh, Age of Apocalypse, I want to do want to get it out in time for February or Black History Month. Uh, so I look forward to something like that. Luckily, it's only like six issues. I really wanted to like do. Because I read it last year and I really wanted to make a point of doing it at least close, if not on February. But I got so much movies to review for February month for Black Christmas month slash Valentine's Day. So I want to make sure I at least get something out early. Uh, but anyway, look forward to the upcoming stuff. Oh, and february 1st is on thursday that's when i'll have my chaotic first chaotic lore video out for you guys because it's like a i got at least a decent list yeah of stuff at the ready for every other 
week um at least for the most part there's still a few stuff that i haven't finished yet so far as like a script but i have something at the ready so look forward to that um uh what else uh i think it's about it uh, you know uh luckily there's only like only a few games i wanted to get this year and there's only a, a few movies i wanted to see this year so it kind of frees up some time for me to focus on certain reviews uh i don't want to worry about going out to a movies all that much aside from it because i know deadpool 3 is coming out this year that's the only marvel thing that's coming out this year it's gonna be very you know sparse with superhero related content i have not checked out the echo show for the most part people saying it's just okay but it's not the ending was kind of crappy and schlocky uh I've seen other people's reviews of it. I was like, yeah, I'm glad I didn't waste five hours of my time on this show. Honestly. Because uh, it, it seems like uh, it's not like even like the good kind of schlocky. It's just like kind of. I hate to use the word pandery, but it's kind of like, oh my God, really? But anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna try to like you know. Uh, it's gonna be kind of uh, you know sparse with like video games, at least up until Tekken Eight comes out. So it's kind of frees up some time for me to like focus on other things. So I just want to pop in because I know you probably haven't seen me in a hot minute since Diablo Four. I want to make sure like, hey, I want to hop in to play a little bit of games talk with you guys for a hot minute but it's gonna be kind of uh you know uh minimal with gameplay content for a little bit but like but you know i got Tekken 8 uh to last me at least until like ff7 rework comes out and that's gonna probably be like like a month at least of content depending on how big and massive the story is and all the side content and everything like that's gonna be might even like you know if it comes out on if i have to work that day when it comes out i'm gonna uh you know uh call it like a, a sick day or something because i just want to like spend the entire day just playing that game uh but anyway i will see you guys soon take care have a pleasant evening keep warm if you're in like a colder climate and uh, yeah, have a good night.